Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India is truly becoming art-nirbhar in shipbuilding capabilities with companies like Cochin Shipyard Limited, Majgaon Dockyard and Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Indian Navy's patrol vessels, corvettes, frigates, destroyers and now even aircraft carriers like ISC Vikrant is constructed locally by these three shipbuilding companies. At the same time, we are facing adversities like China, which has massive shipbuilding capabilities. It has commissioned 1,70,000 tons worth of new ships in 2021. These include Type 094A Ballistic Missile Submarine SSBN, two Type 075 Helicopter Landing Docks LST, three Type 055 Cruisers, seven Type 052D Destroyers, six Type 056A Corvettes, six Type 08211 Mine Countermeasure Vessels, one Cable Laying Ship, and three Type 927 Surveillance Ships. So, China has dispute over a vast amount of maritime zone, but it has started lurking in the ocean with Humban Kota port in Sri Lanka and upgrading Karachi port after positioning eight submarines and four ships. We also know that discussions are happening around a third aircraft carrier for Navy, which was recently given green signal by the Standing Committee on Defense making a strong recommendation for third aircraft carrier for Indian Navy. The good news is that Cochin Shipyard Limited is constructing new dry dock at an estimated cost of Rs 1,799 crores. This dry dock is conceived with a length of 310 meters and will be a step dock with a width of 75 meters at the wider part and 60 meter at the narrower part. It will have a depth of 13 meter and draught of 9.5 meters. In terms of size of the dock and strength of the dock floor, this will be one of the largest dry docks in India. The new dry dock when commissioned will help CSL to have a more diversified product profile. This dual purpose dry dock is planned essentially to tap the market potentials of repairs construction of specialized and technologically advanced large vessels such as LNG vessels, jackup rigs, drill ships, large dredgers, second indigenous aircraft carrier and repair of offshore platforms and larger vessels. The new dry dock can comfortably handle aircraft carriers of 70,000 ton docking displacement and tankers and merchant vessels of 55,000 ton docking displacement. The dock load is designed to take a load of 600 ton per meter. The design caters for sufficient safety margins as per the international codes. The new dock is expected to be commissioned by July 2023. The new dry dock is being built with third aircraft carrier in mind. It will lead to faster construction of large vessels like aircraft carriers. As you know, the aircraft carriers has huge maintenance period of two to three months. These new dry docks will fasten the process. The new dry dock is right segue towards enhancing India's shipbuilding capability. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.